Hello and welcome to a new video by Christoph Werner. Today I would like to show you a new function in 3D Code. The new function in 3D Code is called External Editor Projection Scale. It will be found here in Edit and External Editor Projection Scale. You can only find the function if you are using the latest beta version. At the moment I am using the version 3.715. Okay, I have prepared a small object here. The object have a very high resoluted um, texture. Here you can see it. Uh, maybe you can see it better in the UV room. Here it is. It's uh, 2000 or 2K width or wide and 4K in the height. Okay? It's very high resoluted. Okay. The new function here, the external editor projection scale, is mainly interesting for, or it's only interesting, for people who are using the projection painting in 3D code. Projection painting in 3D code means you are working not in 3D code, you are working in an external application like Photoshop. Maybe you know it, you can paint in 3D code, for example, here. 3D code. Good, okay. And you can do the same by painting in Photoshop just to activate this function edit projection in external editor my external editor is Photoshop what a surprise <laughs> okay now we have the same view you can see it here like in 3D code there you can see three layers it's the light map layer and layer 1 and layer O layer 1 and O are the same layers like in 3D code the light map here represents the viewport shading system. So here you can see the shading and you can see it again here in the light map. It's an overlay layer. If you are painting new information, please just look uh, use the layers you can see here, layer one, O and 1. It's not a problem. You can always rename the layers or add layers. The uh, changes here in Photoshop will be completely taken back to 3D code. I can show it to you maybe. I rename this one and say my layer and I paint now some information. I change the color to this blue. Blue. Okay, I take another, take a different brush. i take this one and say blue. Okay, I've painted it to my layer and now I press save or I go to the file menu and press save. It will be saved now. It's a temporary file. It's a Photoshop file. And now I go back to 3D code and my changes were taken. So what means? My layer was taken, the new name and the projection, the painting, what I've done in, in uh, Photoshop was taken too. Here it is. So now we will come to main uh, uh, main uh, issue of, of this of this uh, video. What is the new external edit editor projection scale good for? Okay, I go back to paint. Okay, so when you are painting sometimes and you zoom out and you use the projection scale, I do it now. Update then you see the current projection will be taken. The current projection, the resolution of the current projection is the same resolution like your screen area here. So it means it mean every pixel in this screen area will be directly projected to your texture or to your object. So what it means is when I zoom in and I paint details, I can already see it here. I make my brush a little bit smaller, go to my layer, don't forget to do this, change the color and say this is my new new heart, it's a small heart, it's in graphics and the projection and you see because the the screen resolution is very low, my projection, I save it now and go back to 3D code, my projection is very low too. Here it is, my heart. I go into it and you can see because of the low resolution my pixels are low too. 
they could be much better. I can show it to you. When I paint in 3D code, I, ha I have a very, very uh, high resoluted heart if I like. I make it the brush a bit bigger. It's much better than my projection. So what the new routine does is now, before I go to Photoshop, before this projection screen will be taken to Photoshop, the resolution here will be scaled up. So uh, the screenshot of this uh, area will be uh, yeah, upscaled, you know? So what to do this, you go here, externally to projection scale, and what I would like to do is I would like to scale it four times than now. I go back to Photoshop to show you the current size. The current size here is, I can show you the info, it's 1250 to 900, uh, 959. So what I do now is, I go back, I change the resolution to four times the size than now. You remember my ugly heart here. I do the same. Now I go back to, I use a shortcut, I go back to Photoshop. It needs a little bit longer because the temporary file is much bigger now, it's four times the size than before. Update. And now you see my size is 5000 to 3836. So it's four times the size than before. I must scroll to see my, my object. I zoom out, here is my object, it's the same, but the resolution, you can already see it in the, with the cubes, cube edges here, the resolution is much better. So, and now, when I paint now a new heart, for example, I do it in yellow, and say this is my heart, oh, maybe a little bit bigger, so this is my heart here save it, go back to 3D code, it will be projected now, there it is, and I zoom in, you can see it has a much much better resolution, because it uh, uses the nice texture resolution I have used in my, in my object. Now you can see the projection is much better, because I have scaled the screen resolution up before I go to Photoshop. And to do this, I do it in here in this menu. Normally you can uh, leave it like it is to, to the default, don't scale. That's much better for you because when you scale it, there you can see this uh, uh, warning here, be careful. It's careful because it needs, the first is it needs much more time. And the second, of course, it needs, it needs a lot of memory, especially on the graphics card. And later, of course, the Photoshop file will be very big too. So be very carefully with the high amount uh, values here. But you can try it out if you like and you will see what happens. Okay, this was the tip for today. I hope you understand now and you know what it means to change the external editor projection scale. Thank you very much. I would be very happy if you visit my blog and we will see us again soon. Bye bye.